a position that we're a little stronger at, and that's safety. Because we know who's going to start, obviously. Tyler Newbin, the rookie who we have extremely high hopes for. Yeah. Um, and, of course, Pinnock, who, again, had a, had a, his career year last year. We'll see if he can continue to improve, and that was second year starting full-time there. Past that, you got a question, a little bit of question marks there. And we talked about the safety episode. We got a little bit in this conversation here, but it's like, who's going to be that third safety spot? Is it going to be Dean Belton, who's been on the league, you know, been in the league a couple of years now with us? Jalen Mills, the converted corner, who's, you know, feels like he's been playing since a dawn of time. Just and that. Javarius Owens, who was, you know, the rookie last year going to his second season here. You know, it's, it's really an intriguing group that has just a, a whole lot of possibilities there. Like, I don't know which way it's going to happen. I can guess, and I'll have no problem doing that. But I can't sound confident in what's going to happen with this group. I think that would definitely be a little crazy. I mean, you know, Dayton Belton been a playmaker whenever he's on the field, but he hasn't been the field very much. He hasn't exactly been the best against the run. He's had some issues with angles and tackling. There's definitely some issues there. But he's been a ball hawk in the times he's been there. You know, both interception-wise and, you know, fumble-wise. If you look at his, like, turnover per down, you know what I mean? Like, how many turnovers he has and how many downs he's actually been on the field on defense. That ratio has got to be insanely high. Oh, it has to be. But has to exactly, be. But exactly. He's like got said. a couple of sacks as well. He's helped as far as, you know, pass yeah. rush there, just a little bit of play. Again, I he makes those big plays. But he's got some issues. Yeah. I mean, there's... Issues. Like you said, you, you summed it perfect. Like, his... His sample size of what you see of them is fantastic. The ratio is probably one of the best. It's got to be top. Yeah. yeah. I feel like Trump. It's got to be good. It's definitely good. It's definitely top. It's got to be good. But there's a reason why he's not a starter. Because that sample size we see is just it. It's a small sample size. And we yeah. don't see – you can't see what he's doing in the practices. Like, yeah. is he the guy that comes up that, you know – is in the middle of practice as nothing, but as soon as he hits the field, like he's a stud. Like I don't think that's how that works. Yeah, I think they'd play him a lot more if they thought that. Yeah, you know. So, but that's why when they do play him, you notice they play him on passing downs much more often because he has that big play capabilities, and then you don't worry about him and the issues with him trying to stop the run. But if you think about it, when you put a third safety into the system, a lot of times it's against the pass. You're like, well, this is an obvious running down. Let's get our three safeties out. Yeah. That's like the the running back just you know running for about a few yards before he can get to him. Yeah, that'll work out well. Um, yeah. So because I think that plays in his hands, I think he's got a decent spot there. You know, uh, takes a shot at the spot there. I mean, you got Jalen Mills after that, who again he's in his he's in his thirties. He's converted over to safety now to try to extend his career, as many corners have done over the years. By the way, rumor is James Bradbury might be doing that with the Eagles this year. Oh yeah, he's been practicing at safety in practice. Good luck. They're paying him for the next like four years still. Anyway, <laughs> he's got to do uh, something. Yeah. So, but you know, you got him now, and I think he's more of a nickel dime kind of guy. You could bring him out more as that like, extra slot slash safety kind of role there in obvious obvious passing downs. You know, I don't know if he's a guy you want to put out there as a third safety on a regular basis because. As much as Dean Belton has issues against the run, Jalen Mills is still the size of a corner. He just doesn't have the speed he used to have anymore. Is that the guy you really want there to try to stop a running back if they do go ahead and run? You can guess when things are run plays and, st- and, and pass plays, but you're not always right on that. No one is. Except John Madden. Yeah. He was good at that. In between turkey legs. <laughs> Double um, fisting him. <laughs> so, again... A good player to have. He's he's going to be a good mentor and veteran, I think, for this group overall because he's the only old older guy in this thing as far as this safety and corner group. Only DB, I think, over the age of thirty, and I think by far he's the oldest one. Like I think everybody else is like twenty five at the latest. You know, like yeah, Darnay right. Holmes might be the second oldest one of this in this group. Was that Holmes? Holmes? He's is he twenty six? I think that's what we said he was. I have to look up his exact age now. But yeah, I mean. 
Yeah, he's 25 years old. He turns 26 in at the end of the month. So, you know, again, you got a guy who's five, six years old and everybody else there. I think there's a role for him because of that. But you can't force feed that role. If he's not the guy and he's not playing well enough, you don't go, well, we need someone who's got some experience. <laughs> like that's, that's <laughs> the worst possible thing ever. We kept him because he's old. <laughs> it's like, like, you don't hear that. He smells like mothballs. Yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> he knows the value of a Werther's original. Yeah, he brings those chocolate mints. Yes, that you grab and they used to bring it <laughs> into the locker room. We, we have everybody around the campfire. And he regales the stories of uh, of the original Walkman radio he had as a child. <laughs> <laughs> I would just say, like, that's not why you keep somebody, you know, yeah. like. But then you got Javarius Owens, who got some hype, not nearly as much hype as as Trey Hawkins got, you know, in the off season. But it certainly didn't translate to the regular season. You know, we spent most of his time on the practice squad. And we don't know. Can he make that step this year? Like, did he learn something to get better? Is this the year he's going to make that? You know, or should we just keep the expectations low because he's a seventh round pick? That's the reasonable thing to me to do is go, he's a seventh round pick. He probably won't pan out. If he does, great. But I can't plan on that. Unless he's Trey Hawkins. Trey Hawkins is a six round pick and he hasn't panned out so far either. Yeah. Again, those guys you don't usually. It's not a knock on them. That's that's what the expectation should be. So the expectation for Javarius Owen should be practice squad again. That's a reasonable expectation. And if he happens to make the roster and beat out Mills, I don't think he'll beat out Belton. I think this really comes down to Mills or Owens. If he beats out Mills, then great. You beat out a solid veteran that's had a long career in this league. You know, you know, unless you beat him specifically because Mills looks older and slow down, because that's always it's always a risk at that once you hit over 30 at that point, you do lose some speed. But he's like 31. It's not like he's like I had to look up exact age, but it's, I think he's like 31. Yeah. It's not like he's 37. <laughs> you know, he's not he's not that old. It's not like Rob. <laughs> <I'm> so <still> old. <laughs> <laughs> True. I, how's uh, how's your pet dinosaur doing? Oh, how? <laughs> I I didn't even realize you, you remember Steggy. Steggy <laughs> the Stegosaurus. <laughs> so I was right. bringing the plates to dinner. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So again, Belton's going to be there. That's definitely there. And I think I think Mills probably does get in a spot, and I think Owens is probably you know relegated to the practice squad. But things can change with that, guys. Like a drop of a hat. Whether it's injury, whether it's Mills slowing down a little bit, whether it's Owens looking like he's gotten a lot better in the past year, things can change. So I would say keep an eye on those two more specifically. And let's see how they progress as this offseason goes there. Thanks for listening to Two Giant Goofballs, a New York Giants podcast. We appreciate your support. Thanks so much.